y'all welcome to my channel plant by storm i'm stormy and by the time that you see this video i will have a newborn here i had already recorded this video and i was editing it and some things happened and i ended up not being able to finish it i'm going to be telling y'all my story um can't wait to do that i hope that you're interested in hearing that i've got some uh videos coming out like I'm going to talk about what I brought to the hospital with me for plant-based food. I've also got a lactation cookie video that I'm going to do that's no bake and you can take out an ingredient and it's just a regular cookie so it, you don't have to be um, breastfeeding in order to enjoy these cookies and they're really good either way. Also I'm going to be um, doing some uh, weight loss updates. I've already lost like 26 pounds since I had her. Uh, it'll be two weeks tomorrow. Um, so that's pretty decent uh, right after having a baby. And I want to do some weight loss recipes and all that kind of stuff. Super excited to be back. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into this video. It's going to be what I eat in a day nine months. Like I said, I was planning on um, having this out before but a lot of things happen and i'll be telling y'all all about that in my story but um i'm just going to put in some pictures and a little bit of video i've got a really cool little clip of her flipping in my stomach so um because i didn't get to record the intro for that video before everything went awry so i hope that you enjoy this and like i said let's jump right into it and see what we eat in a day for nine months pregnant so this was just um, before a baby shower that I was given and this was a shot that I took myself and this was actually going to be a grocery haul that never saw the light of day so there was that and this is where she flipped in my stomach which I thought was pretty cool and now I'm ready to get into breakfast so rough right here I've got some broccolini and some red bell pepper and onion just chopped up and then um, a portobello cap like the large portobello cap I ended up cutting that all up and um, adding in a little bit of water just to help saute and get things along um, because I was doing pretty much um, what I had always done here's just a little bit of tofu and I just kind of squeeze the water out just a little bit and break it up pretty good add a little bit of turmeric into it just for some color and of course I put in some black pepper and all that kind of stuff to help absorb the turmeric because that's what helps your body utilize the turmeric and then I just kind of mix it all together like a scramble and then you can use the black salt to give it that eggy flavor and this is really delicious and just kept it really simple um, and up the protein just a little bit and you could pair this with some starch if you wanted to now next for lunch I decided to do just a simple pasta and I just did what I could uh, with what I had on hand so just a little bit of bow tie pasta and some salt and of course cook it according to package directions so I'll just bring it up to a boil and get everything else prepared so in a frying pan I'm gonna add in a little bit of onion just gonna cut that up and throw it right in there and I was really on a mushroom kick at this point in time Plus, I really love it in pasta, so I'm just going to slice this up and chop it up roughly and throw it in there with the um, onion. And then, of course, whenever your pasta is done, just remove it and set it aside so that we can add it to our mixture later. Adding in a little bit of water so that it can cook down. And then a little bit of smoked paprika and minced garlic that I had. I love, I know you can just cut up garlic really easily but you know like I said nine months pregnant and we need to do things quickly because we are tired then I actually came across this company this is not a sponsored video whatsoever called the very good butchers and these are the smoking bangers and I'm gonna put in half of one of these um, I just thought y'all might be interested in it you might want to look them up they've got pretty clean ingredients um, and it's made out of whole foods uh, there might be a little bit of oil and stuff in them, uh, possibly, but I'm not adding a whole lot in there. Um, and just, again, to up the protein a little bit. Um, not worried, really, about protein much, but I just tried to add in what I could when I could. I gave it a little dash of mustard and a squeeze of lemon just for some acidity. And then, again, put the water in there because I was cooking down the broccoli. And then I added in some sun-dried tomatoes and coconut cream because I wanted it to be creamy and add in some fat. So I uh, mixed that all up uh, with the water. And whenever you put that lemon in there, it kind of deglazes the pan. So then I'm just going to add the pasta right into it, mix it up. This was super simple, super easy because I love easy. And it was 
delicious feeling and healthy. Um, so yeah, if you want to give this a try, this is a good one to try. It's so yummy. You can also let it cook a little bit longer and the sauce will thicken up. And then for dinner, we decided to do sushi. So I decided to use the rest of the coconut cream that I had used earlier. Use that, added in a little bit of sriracha to make kind of like a sriracha mayo, but keep it whole food plant-based. Super, super delicious and easy on top of the sushi. So I highly recommend trying this. You can just drizzle it right on top and it's nice and creamy and thick and it's got a nice spicy kick. So I love, love, love that. I'm going to be roasting those peppers you just saw in the pan and then I'm going to add in a little bit of lemon zest to this rice and I'm going to make some nigiri sushi and I'm just going to mold those in my hands. I've got a little bit of rice vinegar in the water. Um, you just put a dash in there and then it keeps it from like sticking to your fingers and um, then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of lemon on it just gives it a nice zest and then I'm going to cook some tofu um, I'm just putting a little bit of coconut aminos in a pan and cooking it until it kind of um, crusts the tofu it's super delicious like this if you haven't ever tried it that was tofu that had been um, pressed out cut really thinly and then just cooked up in the pan and then I'm going to just layer on my rice and put in whatever goodies. So I've got carrots, jalapenos, that's the uh, orange peppers that you saw. I'm going to put some of that in there, some cucumbers and avocado. And then some of them I put in the tofu. So I just did a variety of rolls and put in whatever I thought would be good in each one um, just to change it up. And then rolled it up. I love to put the sriracha in there, obviously. Um, if you don't like it that spicy, then don't worry about adding that in there. Um, just have fun with it if you want to make sushi. It's one of my favorite things to do. And there, there was really nothing special about it. I am not the best sushi maker in the world. But it's fun and delicious, like I said. And just roll it up. And... Then I got the nigiri uh, sushi ready, and like I said, you just take the red pepper, peel the skin off, and then you can cut it into little squares. It kind of looks like the, the tuna, and it's really simple, delicious, got a great flavor, and um, we just love to do this occasionally. It is a little bit of work, so this one is not always quite so simple and easy, but if you don't do like the nigiri sushi and you just like cut up the veggies and do the rolls, it is so easy and something that's even easier is if you just take all of those ingredients and make like a rice bowl so there's always that option as well um, so here this is with the nigiri sushi finished um, and then I have the rolls finished as well and we just really enjoyed this and I hope that you give some of these ideas a try and that's all I have for today I hope that you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you get notified when I upload new videos thanks so much for watching